in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen dear friends let's take some time today to go through the word of god and reflect on it so that we may get some lessons for our life today's word of god we present here today the incident at the jacob's well at samaria let us hear the word of god john's gospel chapter 4 verse 1 to 5 Now when the Lord knew that Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John he left Judea and departed again to Galilee he had to pass through Samaria so he came to a city called Samaria is called Sikar near the field that Jacob gave to his son Joseph Jacob's well was there and so Jesus wearied he was with his, with his journey sat down beside the well it was about the 6th hour there came a woman of samaria to draw the water jesus said to her give me a drink my dear friends we heard the reading from the gospel that something which took place at the jacob's well of samaria we see so many people in their life had gone away from god man attracted by this world today he goes after the worldly things and loses his soul but what happens so beautiful thing is god enters the life of man and changes the destiny of man that is the beauty of salvation Dear friends that is what it takes place at the Jacob's well We see the two persons coming at the well It was at the 6th hour Jesus comes in that 6th hour that is at about noon it was about 12 o'clock in the noon You know in Israel it's the time where there is hot sun very very hot weather too and nobody would come out at this time to the well to draw the water because it is too hot but we see jesus comes there at that 12th hour because he knew there would come another person at the well and that is no other than the samaritan woman the samaritan woman has a history behind her and what is this history the history of sin history of sinful life she was leading a sinful life a hidden life which made her to go away from god she wouldn't dare to come at the day time she comes at this sixth hour and that's why dear friends jesus comes at this hour and what happens there a beautiful encounter takes place a beautiful encounter takes place where jesus meets the samaritan woman and enters in her personal life he brings a change in that woman encounter dear friends it always takes between the two sides you know 
here we see the two sides human and the divine the samaritan woman is a human person and jesus represent the divine because he is a son of god the encounter between sinful and holy the samaritan woman who comes at the well is a sinful woman but the person of jesus he comes to the world he is the son of god and he is the holy god and again we see rich and the poor the woman who represent this world is the type of richness of this world she claims i have this and i have that but jesus represent the poor of this world but the richness of eternal we see the encounter between the powerful and the weaker the samaritan woman is weaker because she belongs to the world there no strength jesus is powerful because he is divine so my dear friends here is an encounter between the two persons the human and the divine god comes to meet man man who has a sinful history behind him and god meets the man and brings out a change in him this is what takes place here the samaritan woman is representing whole mankind and god comes to meet man and brings out a change in him dear friends is between me and you the salvation has to take place god has to come in our life because we are all sinners one or the other way we have got a sinful history behind us and we go after sin we go after the devil the desires of this world we have got a sinful history each one of us and we need god we need god to come out of this sinfulness unless we meet god we cannot come out of this sinfulness i just take some gospel bible incidents you know genesis chapter 12 verse 1 onwards we see God encounters Abraham. You know Abraham was representing the human. He was worshiping some gods of his own. The gods which are not powerful. But God comes into his life. He introduces or reveals himself as the eternal God. he comes into the life of man and there he takes over he tells abraham abraham get up and go go to the place where i show you i will take you to the promised land a land i will give you a land with flowing with milk and honey you go there i will bless you I will bless everyone who bless you you shall be a source of blessing that is the encounter between Abraham and God God enters the life of Abraham and Abraham here he makes a decision for himself now he decides for himself that he would opt for the god of israel who reveals himself to him he leaves his place he leaves his people he goes to the place where god is showing him boldly he makes a decision 
they say the result of the encounter dear friends another incident i would remind exodus chapter 3 verse 1 onwards it is with moses moses who came from egypt he was taking care of the flock of jethro at horeb what happened one day when he was grazing the sheep he saw a bush burning what is it that takes place he just wondered with all curiosity he comes to the place and god speaks to him moses moses take off your shoes the place where you stand is holy god reveals himself to moses you see my dear friends god enters in the life of moses here the encounter takes place a change takes place in the life of moses you know as it was with abraham as it was with the samaritan woman moses had a sinful history he was a hebrew who was in egypt he, he grew in the palace of pharaoh but one day he killed an egyptian because of fear that he would be caught and killed he ran out of egypt and came to horeb this was his sinful history he was a criminal in one sense and what happened god enters in his life here he takes him over the encounter took place between moses and god brings a change in the person of moses but what is this task god says to moses moses go go to egypt i have heard the cry of my people i have seen their reflection they are suffering my people are suffering and i send you to egypt to bring them out of egypt this is the task that god entrusts him he wants him to bring lead the people out of egypt see how the encounter takes place in his life the weaker and the stronger the human and the divine and the third encounter is isaiah isaiah chapter 6 fun onwards we read the beautiful vision that isaiah got isaiah was a human person and god gives him a vision in that vision he sees the holy of holies and there angels worship him he hear that beautiful song holy holy god power of god of power and might is when he saw the holiness of god he was lost he said i am lost i cannot stand before the god because i am a man of sinful lips i am sinful he says sinful heart and god comes into his life and in this beautiful vision the angel comes with a charcoal of fire and cleans his lips prophet was cleansed and god sends him for his work to prophesy to speak for him this is the encounter that took place god enters in the life of Isaiah makes him holy human and the divine weaker and the stronger once again this is what takes place in the encounter we come to the new testament we see acts chapter 26 12 onwards we see god enters the life of saul Saul narrates his own experience of God's encounter. As Saul was on the way to Damascus, dear friend, God enters in his life. He was there 
with all pride he said i will destroy this christians with that pride he went on the way to, to damascus what happened on the way he met jesus jesus appears to him and as he saw that light of jesus he couldn't see he falls to the ground he was blind he loses his sight he was down falls to the ground and jesus he heard the voice of jesus saul saul why are you persecuting me why are you persecuting me saul said lord who are you i am jesus of nazareth whom you persecute and saul realizes saul realizes that it is god who speaks to him and what he is doing is wrong his history god enters in his sinful history and here saul goes with a change of heart he goes to anania as jesus directed him and changes his life dear friends i just stated before you these four in for five incidents the so how god enters in the life of man me and you dear friends we have got a sinful history as i told you little earlier each one of us have a blacker side of our life hidden side of our life where we are leading in sin sin takes control of us God doesn't want man to be in this state. The offer of salvation comes to the sinful people. The sinful people who have this darker side. God opens the salvation to them. And that is the beautiful gift of salvation to each one of us. Today dear friends. we hear the word of god let's open our hearts to god as the samaritan woman came to the well jesus said give me a drink let's go to jesus the samaritan woman decided to go to jesus and when she made a decision to go to the well jesus came there if there is a desire in me to meet god god will come and meet me and that is the point of my salvation there i meet god when god comes into my life i come out with a change change of my soul change of my attitude change of my life this is beautiful conversion dear friends let's pray for this we stop at this reflections for today i will continue later but at this we stop we decide one thing for today's our life that we shall go to meet jesus we open our hearts to jesus we open our life to jesus that jesus may enter my life bring out a change in me I should open out my heart for salvation. This is what I want. Let's make this firm decision that Jesus may enter in me. Let's pray for a while. God of heaven the Father, you sent your only son Jesus to this world that we may have the salvation. We are all sinful people. we lead a dark side of our life that is sinful history come into our heart lord come into our human life that we come out of this darkness and lead our way to light towards you make us to march toward the promised land that is our heavenly abode that you have promised us through jesus make us light lead our life to 
go to this heavenly abode one day as per your desire we ask this through christ our lord amen